Hello, I'm Sarah Grady Ackerman. This year's Florida Book Award silver medalist in the poetry category is called Still the Mountain. It's Lola Haskins' 10th book of poems, and she's joining me now. Welcome, Lola. Thank you. And congratulations. Thanks. I know this had to be exciting. Oh, it was really, yeah. And also, I'm going to let my granddaughters wear the medal to school. Oh, wow. Because there's a real medal, and they're going to love that. And a good show and tell story, I'm there sure. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, just give us an overview of the poems in this book, because they really span, like, the whole spectrum they of do. topics. They do. They do. Actually, I um, put it together in, they, they also, I wrote them at a very different time frame from each other. Some of them are recent, some of them I wrote a long time ago. Okay. But for some reason, I, I think deliberately about books. I lay them out and read them because I know all my poetry by heart, so I don't have to look at the poems themselves. I just lay the titles out and read the book uh -huh, uh -huh. and switch and switch and switch until it's ready, you know, so until it has an arc. Mm -hmm. This one was unusually easy, and I couldn't figure it out until I got to the very last thing and realized there was something not in the book that was what the whole book had been going toward. Mm -hmm. And that's that poem called Still the Mountain. Mm. Because the book is about searching, essentially, uh -huh. from all different angles. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, Still the Mountain, the poem itself, is, uh, it says, the monk waits, the hands reaching from his sleeves turn into birds, mm. still. The mountain is there. Mm -hmm. So in the end, there are these things we can't change. Right. And that's what the book was moving toward. All The whole book thinks it can change, and then we realize that there are things that don't change. Wow, and that's kind of really the thing that you want to resonate. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I see um, from your uh, bio that you, you've written several poems and essays uh, about Florida. What, what is it about the Sunshine State that just inspires you to write? Oh yes, I'm passionate about the Sunshine State. I moved here, both my kids were born here and they're grown. Um, it gets into your blood and I spend a lot of time on the water in kayaks, not, not the beach, but in kayaks and canoes right. and I hike a lot and all the small things just move me beyond measure. You know, I mean salt marshes, springs, but it doesn't have to be something that someone says, this is beautiful. The book I'm working on now is going to be ecstatic nature poetry about Florida. And I think that I can go on and on. So, well, and, ha and how often is it when you're out in that, in, in nature, that the poetry hits your heart and you're inspired? I'm always inspired, but I never write anything on the spot. Hmm something will stick it stick with me and I go home and I think about it and sometimes it's weeks mm -hmm. well years. obviously this is something that is, is deep in your heart that's what, right what did it mean to you when you learned that you had won this this award through the Florida Book Awards well I'm so conscious of how many wonderful writers there are that it's not I don't feel any better than any anyone mm -hmm. so I'm really happy and it's my luck and I'm especially happy because the granddaughters get to wear it but beyond, you know, I'm just, I'm, I think it's very nice that people pick that book because actually that book is a very quiet book. My books, to my own mind, like my children, you know, they have characters, character. And this book is quiet. It's the, the, the girl who sits in the back row and people don't notice her. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that that book won something makes me especially happy, actually. And as you know, there's so many different categories. Um, what I is know. it specifically about poetry? that uh, you really feel can, can speak to the reader? I think that because there are very few words, in a very short time your life can be changed. Uh, when I, I taught computer science at the University of Florida for a number of years and I retired from that, I was writing poetry, but my day job was that. Uh -huh. And I'd put a poem on my door and I would make my students read it before they came for help. Mm -hmm. And uh, never mind. And one day I had those winter Sundays, which is about love in a cold family on the door. And this kid came in with a program under his arm, and I said, can I help you? You know, what can I do for you? And he said, well, I don't really need to see you anymore. And I said, why not? And he said, because I read that poem on your door. And I said, yeah, it really gets to it, doesn't it? And he said, yeah, and um, my dad's dead. And I'm going to Tampa, and I'm going to go to his grave, and I'm going to tell him I understand. Wow. And that's a poem. Wow. One look at a poem by a journalist, not even a journalism, I think he was an accounting major. So see what it can do. It can really do that. It lets people connect with things in themselves that they couldn't have articulated themselves, and somebody did it for them. 
and it helps helps you know yourself better it helps you feel more deeply about your life and everything else and as far as the nature poetry business Defenders of the Environment made an interactive CD and we toured the state with it and I used uh, visual images and I used some poems and afterwards Cynthia Barnett who's a uh, journalist who wrote a book about water came up to me and she said you know if the legislature could see what you just did it would change some minds and she said I never thought of that and that's one thing I'd like to do with the next book actually is I want to use it like not use it because I, it comes from inside but I would like it to have some effect like that. Well, thank you so much, Lola, for shedding some light on the area of poetry. And again, congratulations on your silver medal on Still in the Mountain. Thanks. Still the Mountain. Still the Mountain. Thank, thank you so you. much. Production of this program is made possible in part by a grant from the Florida Humanities Council. Additional support comes from the Florida State University Libraries.